Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Touchy Reactions. Hey, hey. We're going to be watching some pentatonics today. That's right. As you saw on the thumbnail, today we're checking out Bohemian Rhapsody, finally. Uh, we're going to do two videos tonight. We've got the official music video, and then we got a live performance from the Hollywood Bowl. So stick around if that's what you're into. i got my lovely wife, Cindy, here with me, as always. Hey, hey. And we're about to jump into this first video. You ready? Let's do this. All right. This is Bohemian Rhapsody by Pentatonics. I love these old videos. They were always so like simple. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. You got some hobby. Mm. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide. No escape from reality. Open your eyes. Look up to the skies and see. So, wow. Ooh. First off, uh, I, I really like old pentatonics because it was back when they were like experimental. They were a, definitely, uh, we're doing everything a cappella. We're not doing any kind of electronic help on this back then. Nowadays, they sprinkle that in a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> they did a really fun play with the stereo there a minute ago. I'm sure if you guys have watched reactions to this before, people have told you how it jumps back and forth in our ears. So that was really cool. Uh, if you're not watching or listening to these on uh, with headphones, go back and check that out. It's really it's fun. It's pretty cool. It, I, it was it was pretty cool. I never had that happen to me before. Like oh, with the bouncing around. Well, like in a long time. Yeah, yeah, it's been a minute. Um, and it looks like we just changed sets, so that's going to be fun. When they started singing, I really loved that Mitch was given the high part because mm -hmm. I was like, please be Mitch, please be Mitch, yeah, please yeah. be Mitch, but I was scared because of me was not singing yeah and um you didn't think avi was going to come in and do the high part <laughs> i did maybe. not know maybe an octave lower pentatonix is known <laughs> to experiment so maybe maybe they were going to flip that part up and put avi on it. Uh, okay all right yeah that was uh yeah. i i don't know if i should say this or not whether it's politically correct or not but as soon as Mitch started singing, I immediately thought of Freddie Mercury, and I thought about the similarities in life that Freddie and Mitch have, and it made me happy to just hear Mitch singing this song, because uh, you know like him and Freddie have a justice. lot of similarities, and uh, paying forward the justice of it. It just uh, it fit. It, it felt right. means more. Yeah, it felt it felt right. All right, you ready to jump back in? Yes. Here we go. Mama just killed a man. Put a gun against his head Pull my trigger, now he's dead Mama, life had just begun But now I've got it thrown it all away Mama, ooh, ooh, didn't mean to make you cry Who's the jeans? Do you read the words on those jeans there? Oh. Home, have a glass, wine, watch. It probably says whatever, welcome home, have a glass of wine, watch a movie, and just relax, something. Okay. That's what I'm guessing it says. Okay. Because I'm like super intuitive on that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right. While we got it paused, outstanding uh, beatboxing going on right here by Kevin. Um, and I just noticed the scene that they're in. They're outside. The couch is, I think, on a street. Yeah, they're on a, like a moving. rolling couch on a street. You can actually see their breath when they're singing. So it's cold wherever they are. Uh, we went from kind of an indoor feel, and now it's like we're rolling down the street on a couch. Smoking indoor, mm -hmm. except on gin and juice, right? <laughs> right? Okay. So 
dramatic. This is so creative. Too late. Um, I love it. I love it. I wonder. I wonder if someone's pushing this couch. I do see some fingers over there in the corner. Like Ooh, there's people a, on the ground pushing it. Maybe I just caught it at a good spot. Yeah, that was or a good those, pause. Um, or or those, if it's on like some sort of remote control, or maybe there's a car with a. I wonder if it's like pom pom balls on the backside that just blew up. You know, like the wind's blowing. I don't know. I don't know. What you're All right, about. back it up. Let's jump back in. Back in on five seconds. All right. Okay. Dum, 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 my time has come. Oh. That it was, was just, a hand. That was that was obvious hand. So I'm still wondering how it's how it's moving. Is there some sort of cable pulling it? Is there is it remote controlled somehow? Like it's a remote control vehicle? I don't know. Very Depends cool on, concept. It's very though. cool concept. I'm sorry we're getting lost in it. I'm missing the music. We're gonna back up <laughs> and come back into it. Here we go. Okay. insane <laughs> i uh i love that at first uh i did not realize that mitch was making the electric guitar sound but that was so good this video is oh. really good wow uh, I, my, wonder, I wonder if i noticed before you you probably did <laughs> uh i can, actually can't wait to go back and watch our faces oh my see that. um <laughs> wow Ooh. and we're already switching to a new scene here but mm -hmm. let's talk about before we leave that last scene i'm start my my going theory now is that there was some sort of vehicle that had like a bar coming up to the back of the couch, coming off the front of it, and they have it covered with like a black velvet or something, so you can't see it. And it's pushing the couch, and that's why they were able to climb on it while it was moving, kind of thing. Well, what if it, they had? What if it, there's a, like a little platform outside the couch attached to it, so they step onto the platform, they're already moving maybe, with maybe it, maybe and they step on. But I think whatever this is, it's it's, just, it's it's being pushed from behind by some sort of vehicle. And can you imagine when they did step on there? Like you already you have you have uh, Mitch on there who doesn't weigh hardly a buck fifty. Yeah. You know? I was also going to talk about how Kevin's doing the beat here, and it it uh, he was walking at one pace and beatboxing to another pace, mm -hmm. which must have been challenging but uh he seemed to cover that really well actually do you want to go back and see that again can i finish I, I, my thought i'm sorry go ahead. <laughs> just all right so <laughs> i was thinking during the video when mitch was on the couch <laughs> go ahead and you were talking about somebody pushing it from behind i'm mm. like yeah you know that can that would you know i can only imagine how hard it would be but only if it's like okay just mitch is on there next thing i know like the two come from behind there mm. and get on there in and like oh can you imagine and now they're starting to go uphill that that's a lot of pushing. I'm gonna muscle failure here. I'm yeah. not gonna tap out. It could also there there could also be a rig where like there's people pushing it and we just can't see them kind of thing. Anyway, amazing video. I actually want to go back and watch a little bit of that last okay. scene before we yeah, transition yeah, yeah. here because I'm having fun with this. This is a, uh, oh. totally caught off. I couldn't take my eyes off of Mitch with the megaphone, so I, I know I want to watch the other four this time just to kind of see what was going on and see if we missed anything. Yes. Wish I'd never been born at all. They're all doing air, air guitar guitars. and Kevin's doing air drums. Very cool. Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disprove my own theory here. 
So my theory is that there's something behind this couch pushing it. Mm -hmm. Watch when everybody walks behind the couch. It doesn't look like any of them are stepping over cables or stepping over bars or anything. So this may be getting pulled from the front. It, can can you, what if the wheels are on like they a motor motorized could be. and 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 they still have a little platform for them to step on i was just thinking of the cheapest way to do it motorized wheels would be very expensive but let's just watch them walking behind the couch and um, see if you notice anybody they stepping. could just get some, some motorized scooters and attach it oh, man, we're gonna have to stop talking here we go <laughs> I see a little silhouette of a man Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening Galileo, 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 Galileo Figaro oh, 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 oh. I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me He's just a poor boy from a poor family Spare him his life from this monstrosity Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? No, we will not let you go. Let him go. All right, I don't want to get too far away from that lighting effect that we that just saw there cool. in the dark. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it now. I think this video might be up there with Daft Punk as one of my top one and two videos. Daft Punk is by far my favorite from them so far. This might be number two or giving it a run for its money. The creativity on this is just outstanding. It's, uh, it's been very fun to watch. That whole flashlight scene there was super creative, low budget, but super like uh, entertaining. Where they were like whoever was singing and they were all moving the light to their face. That was very cool. Oh, yeah. Man. The artistry. And we still got half a song left. I am i don't know what to expect. They've been surprising us the whole time. You ready? Yeah. We will not let you go. Let him go. I love that Kirsty got her little moment mm -hmm. to shine out front. She sounded great. I love that Scott got pulled out to the front for his part. Sounded great. They always do a good job of, you know, giving everybody a chance to shine on their own kind of thing before they fall back into these beautiful four or five part harmonies. The bass is nice and strong on this. I was killing it. I just like the way that they are being instruments yeah. and sounding like the song. Yeah. Like that right there, it's just been like, I feel like I'm jamming to the song. Yeah, this is one Their of the voices are truly transcendent right one, there. One of the best a cappella performances I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Kevin just do the, yes. the outro here? I was like, 
Uh -huh. And then I was thinking, they've spotlighted everybody through this song at one point. And sure enough, they did it him at the end. Did he sing this or is he lip syncing over one of the other no, singers he's singing, singing it. this? He's singing it. Here he's we go. Let me see this one more time. Anyway, the wind blows. Now, that was Mitch. Mitch did this. No. Yeah, watch Mitch's face here. Anyway, the wind blows. Now I gotta watch it one more time. I'm pretty sure Mitch is singing that. It threw me off because I thought Kevin was singing. I believe Kevin just mouths it a little bit, uh, like uh, before he drops into his All outro. Right. Anyway, the wind blows. Wow, that was crazy. So, wow. That was oh a, yeah. That's a work of art right there. Whew. <laughs> Man, I gotta take a minute. Uh, they're about to do this live too. Man, <laughs> oh my goodness, incredible! All right, well, wow. Uh, this might be my favorite song that I've heard by them, which blows me away a little bit because it, I'm gonna put it in number two. I'm gonna put it in number two behind Daft Punk, just because I remember that Daft Punk experience when I first heard that, and it just kind of it blew me away like this. But Daft Punk was a little more, uh, they made it their own. This one was very close to the uh, sound of the Queen original version, which I don't hate here because they did such an amazing job of uh, recreating all the sounds of the band. Right. And doing this full acapella. The video was insane. Shout out to whoever the uh, you know production designer was, whoever the cinematographer was. I think that you can have more than one because there's so many different genres, you can have more than one favorite. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it could be a ter different genre, your favorite of that genre. Um, I know I know this. If I meet someone who's never heard of Pentatonix and I had to introduce them to them, those two songs are going to be the, one of the you know first two that I show them. Probably probably followed by Hallelujah, maybe. I don't know. Um, I will say this. They sounded amazing. Yeah, so good. I'm excited to see this live. You want to check it out? Yes. This is Hollywood Bowl Performance. In 2022, 2022. All right. Uh, Ty coming back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if anyone gets that reference, put the name of that song in the comments. Let us know. All right. And so you, there, you'll get bonus points from us if you got that reference. All right. <laughs> All right. There'll be live at the Hollywood Bowl. Live at the Hollywood Bowl 2022. Ready? Yes. Here a fabulous evening. We love you. We love you so much. Yeah, thank you. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Oh, we got uh, different lineup. Matt. We got Matt here. That's right. Uh, obviously, he's been gone for a while, so uh, Matt's in those big shoes. <laughs> here, here we go. Yeah. Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. Ooh. I'm just a poor boy. I need no sympathy because I'm easy come, easy go. Little high, little low. Anyway, the wind blows, doesn't really matter. Big difference here, obviously, uh, when you do a studio recording, you can layer it as many times oh, as you yeah. want. You can add as many little frills and, and details here and there on different track levels. It'll all still be their voices, but they can have like multiple Mitches and multiple uh, Kirsties and, and do all that kind of stuff. So here we get to see it stripped back. What can five people do with their voices? Yeah, it's yeah. amazing, though. They're amazing. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they do with this. Mama. Just kill the man Put a gun against his head Pull that trigger, now he's dead Mama Life had just begun But now I've gone and thrown it all away Mama
Really nice what they did yeah. just there. Yeah. I was like, Ooh. Yeah. Um, I was really noticing Kevin's beatboxing. He's got a lot of intricate beatboxing on this, and he's doing a great job live with it. Well, and I was noticing Kirsty when she's like the little notes in there, and I'm just like in, sprinkling them in. Yeah. Boom, boom, yeah. It's it's hard to watch all five I'm, and I'm listen like, to every all five. aspect of this song is just like wow. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing very good. kind of funny because this is what we do in our cars when we're listening to this we all wow. voice we all voice the this guitar. guitar solo and uh mitch is just showing us the absolute uh epitome of doing that and uh just made me laugh thinking about all this driving around in our cars doing the same being thing. him on stage right that we could do that here we go <laughs> All right, so based on what he just said, I'm assuming they have some guest choral singers mm. down the aisles. I think they're in the orchestra pit. And uh, we said down the aisle. He said, welcome all the singers down the aisle. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that all these lights we see down the aisles here might oh, be Oh, and they're singing with them? Maybe hold the flashlight. We, 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 they're doing back. the orchestra part of this? Okay, go back. Let's go back. Excellent choice to have this choir in, oh, the, yeah. in the audience. It's really adding another layer to this. Very nice. Oh, yeah. It's giving it volume with yes. like the recording, like you using how they said they layered their, their yeah. voices over each other. This is how Even they if fix it's the that. same note. Yeah. So like, let's instantly. bring in a local choir and have them back us up kind of mm -hmm. thing. The sound is really good on this recording. Very good. Let him go. We will not let you go. Let him go. guy in the crowd 
There's a, like this guy in the crowd is so happy that Scott's right in front of him saying, <laughs> watch, he's standing up and he's got this great look on his face. This guy right here. Look at him. <laughs> These guys are so this thrilled. Guy? They're like, oh, Scott's right in front of me. That's going to be me. I mean, he's me right right uh, in the go. That's right. That's going to be us. <laughs> that's going to be us. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Like, usually I get goosies for the high notes, but yeah. that low note yeah. gave me the goosies. I was like, yeah. yes. Man, why do we continue to be surprised by how great this band is? I mean, we should always expect greatness from them, but every time they keep surprising us with new and new tricks and new and new talents. And uh, I, I love that we got to see an Avi version and a uh, Matt version. That was kind of fun. That was fun. Man, they absolutely killed that song. 10 out of 10. Uh, that's that's my opinion. So good. Yeah. I, I, is this on the playlist? Can we see that? Absolutely. Yes, yeah, no doubt. All right. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, hit that like button down below. It doesn't cost you anything. It makes us feel real good when people like our videos. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that big red button down below. It'll turn gray, let you know you have subscribed. Maybe hit that bell off to the side. It'll let you know anytime we drop new content over here at Touchy Reactions. We also have a uh, Patreon. There's a link down below in the description and up here in the corner. And uh, we have a Facebook, a Twitter, and an Instagram link down below in the description as well. Come on over and follow us there. We're definitely going to be showing stuff from uh, our trip to go see Pentatonix here in a little bit. So uh, we'll put all the live stuff up on the Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. And then we'll put the vlog out later on YouTube. So follow us on all those platforms and yes. you'll be able to keep up with what we're doing. Especially if you're going to the concert in Atlanta and you want to make sure that uh, we can all bump into each other and say hi. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, and you'll be able to see where we're at, what we're doing, all that kind of stuff. So, I had a great time with this one, oh, Cindy. Me too. Thank you for joining me. You're welcome. And for anybody who stuck around this late into the video, you pentaholics, <laughs> we appreciate you stopping by, and don't forget to come on back. Bye.